Human society has rapidly moved away from sensitivity to the natural, subtle forms of life, becoming increasingly dependent on intense artificial stimulation. As technology accelerates in our society, we are becoming increasingly isolated from our roots in the natural world and the wisdom it offers. So how do we recapture this forgotten wisdom? We begin by slowing down, looking, and learning. Keep your eyes wide open and be willing to stop in the middle of important stuff. You don't have to be in the middle of the wilderness to experience nature. The home you live in, the food you eat, the clothes you wear, all of these came from nature. Look out the window. Nature offers many ancient lessons. Pretend you are a small child seeing nature for the first time. Everything is interesting and everything offers a potential lesson. An unusual ant, a pebble that looks like a rock, or a brightly colored grasshopper. Did you know, for example, leafcutter ants were the planet's first farmers and pharmacists and energy experts? Did you know that wood becomes petrified when water penetrates decaying cells of wood, filling them with minerals, slowly turning them into solid stone? Did you know that bright contrasting colors are often used by animals to warn uh, potential predators that they are toxic? Do not eat me, they say. It doesn't matter where you are, nature is with you. When your mommy was a little girl, uh, I got her a frog dress. I bought her a frog dress. Yeah. And I used to jump around all over the room like a frog and she would follow me. And so when she had children, I wanted to be called frog. But I was overruled. They didn't think frog was a good name. So they decided that is your mommy and her mommy decided that I should be called Gramps. And so that's how I got my name as Gramps. That's right. True story. <laughs> but we can jump like frogs. Yes. Yeah, let's go jump like frogs. Come on. Run it. Run it. Run it. Run it. Run it. Run it. Run it.